Hello, everyone. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's the famous Robin Hood of the Old West. Cisco, the sheriff, he is getting closer. This way, Pacho, Pablo. The Cisco Kid. <laughs> Say, want to rate Ace High with that hungry family of yours? It's easy. Just make sure you serve... Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. Yes, ma'am. Serve more good butternut bread. And you are sure to win the applause of everybody from junior to granddad. Because everybody likes that butternut flavor, that richness, that extra richness, that butternut tenderness and fine texture. And you know, you like the way that butternut's freshness lasts. If you open a loaf for breakfast one morning, you can enjoy it at noon and again at night. And if there's any left, which I doubt, you'll enjoy it just as fresh and delicious again the next morning. Butternut is baked right to be fresh and wrapped right to stay fresh. When you buy bread, make sure of the brand you buy. Look for the only loaf in the bright blue and white check gingham wrapper, the wrapper with a picture of fresh white slices right on it. Good butternut bread. You'll like it. Now, the Cisco Kid in our gripping story, Manhunt for a Killer. According to the records of the 1870s, Mowbray McKean was the most vicious prisoner ever to plot further killings from within the walls of the Oregon Penitentiary. For in the interest of his vengeance, Mowbray McKean did what no other man in the recorded history of crime ever attempted. As our story opens... It is the summer of the Great Fog in Oregon. More specifically, it is just after daylight of a June morning, with the mist lying thick as a blanket over the prison yard, as a file of men in striped uniforms lockstep towards the penitentiary's textile shop. This fog is just what the doctor ordered, Todd. The only thing is, I can't see if that ladder's over against the wall. No, Simmy said he'd leave it there. He got a special to work late in the carpenter shop, finishing up a cabinet for the warden. I hate to break out of here without getting that coyote of a ward. Uh, now, keep those heads up till I check in. When Gunman. I shoot down the guard, get over Ready? to that ladder fast. Callahan. When I shoot, the cons will start yelling. Jordan. We'll get over the wall and Sound hustle to the livery stable. Yo, my king, keep that trap shut. Go on, you stiff neck. You want to go in solitary again, huh? Are you sure we'll... Hey, what's that under your jacket? You'll find out, stiff neck. Right now. Get going, Todd. I'll get this other guard. Aubrey, come on. What's going on down there? There's that warden, that pool cat. I got a good mind to kill him. No, 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 don't be crazy. Up the ladder, Mowbray. Guards! Guards, watch the walls! This confounded... Jump, Todd, I'll follow you. Right. Coming down now, look out below. Now we'll get to that livery stable and take some horses. By night, we ought to be 50 miles away, Mowbray. Not me. I ain't leaving till I get that warden. And you ain't leaving neither. You might talk. Oh, but look. Shut up. I'll kill you as soon as the next. We'll go up to the warden's house and make his wife cook us up a meal. And then we'll wait till he gets home. <laughs> Si, Pancho. Is like this all the time in Oregon? Like this fog, you mean? Si. No, no, amigo. It's been years and years, they say, since they've had a fog like this. So far inland. Oh, if Pancho could see his nose in front of his face on a clear day, he not could see it in a fog like this. <laughs> I think I understand what you mean, Chico. However, we must find our way to the prison to pay our respects to the warden. It's been a long time since you see him, Cisco, no? Si, Pancho. About four years and I... Listen, what the hell? Oh, hold on, hold on. Whoa, what's that? 
Oh, that's Cisco. The alarm from the prison. A prisoner has escaped. One side, Pancho, quick. These riders are coming fast. They cannot see us in this fog. Come on, Diablo. Look, look, look. Saunders, look out. Saunders, look where you're going. Why don't you look where you're going? Keep it getting our way. Uh, but they're going away. Hey, ho, ho, ho. You all right, Pancho? Si, sí, Cisco. Bullets come close, but they miss Pancho. Come on, Chico. We will go after those hombres. Up, Diablo, come on. Go, 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 go. If we overtake them, we will give them a lesson in manners. Oh, Pancho, not think we find them in this fog, Cisco. Yeah, you are right, Pancho. The road splits here. We have no way of knowing which one they took. Oh, they'll hold. Oh, hold, hold, hold. I got to look at the face of the one who fired on you. I'll remember him. Aye, more riders come this way fast. Careful, senores. Do not ride us down. No, oh, you two, um... By thunder, it's a Cisco kid. See, si, senor warden. Pancho and I were on our way to pay our respects to you. But you seem to have your hands full right now, so pay no attention to us. A couple of prisoners escaped, Cisco. Mowbray McKean and Todd Rooley. Mighty desperate armies, too. Mowbray sworn to kill me. I have heard of Mowbray McKean. He may have been one of the two riders who just went past. One of them fired at Pancho. See, he just missed Pancho's whiskers. However, they were not wearing prison uniforms. Uh, they left them at the livery stable. Killed the proprietor and his stableman. Took their clothes and guns and two of their horses. Riders you saw were probably Mowbray and Todd. Come to my house a little later on, boys. Wife and I will be glad to see you. Hup, get up. Get up. Oh, we're not joining Warden's posse, Cisco. He would have asked us if he thought he needed our help. But we will follow along just the same. Up, there, come on. Go, 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 go. Before the day is over, the warden might need a bodyguard. Oh, what for a bodyguard, Cisco? On account of Mowbray McKean. You heard the warden say McKean has sworn to kill him. And from what I have heard about that bandido, he will keep his word if he possibly can. Up there, come on. Go, look, go, 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 go. Wait out front here, boys. I'll be right out. Annie? Uh, oh, I'm in the kitchen. That you, Joe? Yep. Oh, goodness me. I'm glad to see you're all right, Joe. Every time I hear that awful prison alarm, it sends a chill right through me. Don't reckon there's anything to worry about. Uh, no, but I just can't help worrying. Uh, who got away this time? Todd Ruling and Mowbray McKean. Oh, my heavens. Why, that McKean is... Well, he's awful dangerous, Joe. He's most likely some distance away by now. But he'll be picked up. Oh. I sent the alarm to all surrounding towns. Yeah, I do hope so. Thought I'd uh, come home, Annie, just to remind you to keep the doors locked. Just in case. Mm. All those cons know where we live. Yes, well, you don't have to worry, Joe. I, I certainly will. You better come and lock the front door right now. All right. I'll be home as soon as I can. The Cisco kid's in town. He's going to call around, him and Poncho. Oh, really? Well, that's good. It'll be nice to see him. Uh, you be awfully careful now, dear. I will, dear. Bye. Goodbye. Don't make any noise, man. Oh, you... Don't look as if we're very welcome, Mowbray. That ain't gonna spoil my appetite, none. Get busy now, ma'am, and cook us up a meal, a good big one, understand? You... You get out of here. <laughs> we're staying till your husband gets back. If you make any noise or try to give us away in case anybody comes here. I'll shoot you down just as soon as I shoot him down. Oh, if anybody does come, Mowbray will tell you what to do. Yeah, and you better do what I say if you want to keep on living. Now get to work on the stove. There's the warden's house, Pancho. I remember it. Oh, the senora remember you, Cisco? I do not know. Let us see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to the door. Si, si, Cisco. Well, maybe nobody home, Cisco. I hear someone inside. Hmm. Buenos dias, senora. I'm the Cisco kid. Huh? Oh, oh, yes. Uh, 
How do you do? And this is my compañero, Pancho. Buenos dias, senora. How do you do? The war warden's not home. I. In I... that case, we will trouble you no further, senora. Yes, well, it, it isn't that. I, I, I mean... Oh, we... senor warden, we... tell us to call at the house here a little later. It's now a little later. Pancho, remember your manners, chico. Oh. Pancho and I will go along, senora. Perhaps another day we can call here at the house. Yes, but... Well, he's, um... He's pretty busy today. We met him a while ago. Oh. He told us two convicts had escaped from the prison. Yes. Yes, they, they have, Cisco. Well, I am sure your husband will round them up shortly. Gracias, senora. And we will see you later, perhaps. Oh, yes. I hope so. Come, Pancho. Hasta la vista, senora. Pancho, I think senora make us very welcome, Cisco. That is not of her own choice, Pancho. She's afraid. Afraid for her life. See, si, see, si, Pancho thinks she looked funny in the face, Cisco. Her face was white. Her eyes were big and frightened. <coughs> we will have to find the warden at once, Pancho. <coughs> what do we find him for? Up there, car. Go, go, go. To tell him about the senora, of course. Um, but what's she scared of, Cisco? She's not scared of us. We're very polite to her. She must be worrying about the warden. With these two killers on the loose, that... Madre mia. Why, 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 why? I just happened to think. I could see out into the kitchen. There was a big pile of dirty dishes in the sink. See, but what that... The got... senora keeps a tidy house, as I remember. Spotless, in fact. Ordinarily, she would have her dishes washed before this hour. I wonder if those killers could be in that house. I... Probably I am wrong. I hope so. But I could be right. Well, then we go right back to the house now, Cisco, huh? It would be too dangerous for the senora, Pancho. They may have told her they would shoot her down if she let anyone in the house. We must find the warden in a hurry. Up the other Go, 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 now, go. Hey, warden, let us stop here, away from the house. All right, sir. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Now, we walk to the house without being heard. <clears throat> Not be seen much neither in this fog. <clears throat> well, boys, I... Appreciate you coming after me, but in my opinion, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, it may be so, senor. I trust it is, but let us take no chances. Come on. Let's go much more quietly than this, senor warden. Oh, see, the bandidos hear us walking if we keep on like this. I want to get to the house. It's for those killers being in there, Cisco, it just don't make sense. I can see where it would. Well? To speak bluntly, if Mowbray McKean means to kill you, what more natural for him to go to your home? And wait for you. Well, that make a lot of sense to Pancho, Senor Orton. Even if Pancho not like that kind of sense. I know convicts. The one thing they want to do once they escape is get as far from the prison as possible. Very well, Senor. I've done my best to warn you. And besides, Annie would have the doors locked as I told her to do. Yeah, you see, boys? Annie, it's me. Open the door. Uh, just a minute, Joe. Come in, Cisco. Joe, Joe, they're waiting to kill you. Boy, come on, Lord, quick. Look out, Cisco! It looks as if the killer Mowbray McKean has had his vengeance. In just a moment, we'll return to the Cisco Kid. When it's noontime in the kitchen and the footsteps on the porch mean the kids are home for lunch, just break into the bread box and sing out with this tune. Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. (laughs) Ah, that means good butternut bread. Especially good for that noontime lunch when the appetites are hearty, the time is short, and the need for quick food energy is mighty big. Those fresh tender slices of butternut make top flight sandwiches. Butternut's easy to spread and even easier to eat with any sandwich filler. And most important, butternut bread is good for you. Good for those hungry youngsters who need a nourishing lunch. You see, butternut is made from the finest, naturally nutritious ingredients, and it's enriched with extra vitamins and minerals. So next time your family sits down to lunch, just remember this song. Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. Good butternut bread. In the blue and white check gingham picture wrapper. (laughs) 
Now back to the Cisco Kid in our gripping story, Manhunt for a Killer. Suspecting that the escaped convicts, Mowbray McKean and Todd Ruling, were hiding in the home of the warden, whom Mowbray has sworn to kill, Cisco notified that official and suggested caution in approaching the house. But the warden, sure that Cisco was wrong, walked right in. Mowbray opened fire, and both the warden and Cisco fell. No. Cisco! 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 You dead, Cisco? You butt hurt? No, I, I'm all right, Pancho. The bullet missed me, but the powder flash. Oh, my eyes, it was too close. Oh, you're not can see? Yeah, my eyes are clearing now. No, no. Help the senora, Pancho. I'll have a look in the next room. See, si, Cisco. Pancho, you think the bandidos go out the window in there? Oh, Pancho, take a look at the senor, senora. You're all right, Pancho. They went out the window. It's useless to try to follow them in this fog. Is the warden badly wounded? Want you not can tell yet, Cisco? Yeah. Let me have a look. He's dead. I know he's dead. Oh, please not cry, senora. <laughs> Make Pancho want to cry, too. And then Pancho not can see what Pancho is doing. His heart is beating quite strongly, senora. What? I brush his hair back from his temples. Why, the senora is not even badly wounded, senora. Are you telling me the truth? She's going to always tell the truth, senor. Pancho, stop that sniveling. Si, 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 si. Look here, senora. Yes. The bullet barely grazed his head, just enough to knock him out. Yeah, yeah he's oh, coming too. Thank heaven. Uh, head feels as if coming off. It was a narrow escape, senor warden, but you are all right. Mowbray. Mowbray McCree. Big gun, Joe. Don't try to get up uh, there. Oh, Pancho, go get some water, senora. Uh, okay. You were right, Cisco. Should have taken your advice. Never mind, senor. You thought you were doing the right thing. But Pancho and I would like to join your posse. Sure, we should. A killer like that Mowbray McKean is too dangerous to leave at large. We will do our best to help you bring him in. Careful how you look out that window, Mowbray. If anybody saw you, it'd be all up with us. Nobody's going to be looking up into this old barn loft window. Besides, this fog is still mighty thick. I figure we'd better be getting out of town tonight. Sure like to get out of this loft. Two days up here is too blame much for... We've got to get out tonight anyway to get some grub, Mowbray. Look. Hmm. Look over there. There's a warden just crossing the street down there. Hmm. Have a great mind to... No, no, Mowbray, no. I... Got it right on him now. Oh, you blasted fool. We wouldn't have a chance of getting away then. If he wasn't so far away, uh, I can't count on getting him that far with a six-gun. That's too late now. Oh, now look, Mowbray. You aiming to leave town tonight or not? I'm aiming to leave town after I kill that sidewinder of a warden and not before. Yeah, but what do you got against him? He ain't so bad. It's warden's go. He used to be a sheriff up around Spokane. Mm. He's the one that arrested my old man for horse stealing. And he was the one that got him convicted and strung up. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. I took oath then that sooner or later I'd get him, and I will get him. Well, suppose you do, and suppose they get you. Will it be worth it? I'll tell you something, Todd. Mm. I hate that buzzard so much I'd be willing to swing. Just so long as I'd got him first. I feel that way more than ever after coming so close to getting him. Well, you might sneak out of his house tonight. No. Now, there's a guard around it all the time. We heard them two hombres talking about it down on the street. They said the warden was going to keep the guard there till we was caught. Well, I'm pulling freight tonight, Mowbray. Wait a minute. You know what? I'm looking at that carpet repair shop. Unless I miss my guess, that's the warden's office carpet they're taking out of that wagon. Yeah, that's his, all right. I've swept it enough to know. In for cleaning, most likely. Yeah. They'll probably deliver it back tomorrow. Todd, I'm getting me an idea. When they take that carpet back to the warden's office, I'm going to be rolled up inside it. That's how I'll get another chance at him. And I won't miss this one. Cisco, you think those bandidos still in this town? I have a feeling they are, Pancho. But we talked to lots of people and nobody seen them. Most everybody thinks they go away from here. I will continue to believe they are here until I know otherwise. What Cisco believe is good enough for Pancho. Anyway, old fog is thick enough for bandidos to hide. 
One minute fog very thick, and then it lift a little, and then thick again. See, si. Is the warden's house, amigo? Uh, good thing that guard knows us, so he, he not shoot us. See. Si. The Cisco and Pancho, senora. May we come in? Oh, just a second, Cisco. Come right in, both of you. Gracias, senora. Gracias, buenos dias. How is the warden feeling today, senora? Does he still have that headache? Oh, no, that's left him, thank goodness. He feels fine. Uh, he's over to his office in the prison this morning. Uh, they're delivering his carpet back there, and, well, he wants to make sure that they've done a good job of cleaning. You know, uh, last time they didn't do very good. Yeah, we are glad he's feeling better. Now, senora, I would like to have you unlock one of your windows, the one the bandidos climbed out through. Unlock it? What is that for, Cisco? You not tell Pancho this before. The fog is just about as thick now as it was when they got away. I want us to go out of that window, Pancho, and see if we can figure out which way they went. Well, but this two, three days ago... I know that. I am thinking they may have holed up somewhere not far away. This might give us an idea where. At least we are not getting anywhere with other methods. Oh, well, yes, sure, Cisco. I'll, I'll open the window for you. Gracias. Be sure and lock it after we have gone. Oh, you just bet I will. You first, Chico. Out the window. Oh, it's maybe Pancho bigger than that window, but Pancho try. I oh, Pancho stuck, he's gone. No, then I'll give you a push like this. Oh, Pancho not too big for the window. Careful, yeah. Cisco. There. Ah. Pancho out now. Now I will climb out. Now, which way would they be likely to go to get out of sight the quickest? Would Pancho think over back of that old shed, Cisco? It's nearest cover for them. I agree. Let us go over there. Okay. And from here, their next cover would be the bushes alongside that high fence. See, si, see, si, Cisco. Oh, see si, si the street from here, Cisco. That must be the sh- carpet shop there, amigo. See, si, it is. Oh, hombres carry out the carpet and put it in a wagon. Oh, that must be very heavy carpet, Cisco. Perhaps. Anyway, it is awkward to handle. That may be the warden's carpet. Maybe so. The team go in the direction of the prison. See. Now, let us figure out, Pancho, where those killers would go from this point. Well, uh, might climb over this fence, Cisco. Uh, They might, but... Hey, wait, Pancho. Well, what's the matter? They could have gone behind that carpet shop to that old barn. And from there, they could see the carpets being brought to the shop. As they glance along the street. Oh, but Pancho not understand why... You he, just he, said that carpet must be heavy, Pancho. There may be a good reason why. Come on. Well, we not figure some more where they go? Maybe we have figured where one of them went. Let us get our horses and ride to the prison as fast as we can get there. Good. We can run in. Right. You want us to enroll it for you? Yeah. I want to see what kind of a job you did this time. Roll her out, Sammy. Huh. So far, it looks pretty good. What in blazes? All right, don't make any noise, any of you. I knew that carpet was heavier than it ought to be. Now shut that door, you quick, or I'll shoot you down. Now lock it and toss me the key. You two hombres, get into that closet. You stand right where you are, Warden. I'll lock these hombres in. So, you came back into prison, Mowbray. That's right. I reckon you can guess why. Yeah. You don't think you'll get away with it, do you? <laughs> I don't plan to get away with it. But I do plan to send you on ahead of me, Warden, you dirty coyote. Now, if you got anything to say first, go on and say it. Suppose we talk this over, Mowbray. There's nothing to talk over. I'm going to kill you. When I fire this shot, I'm going to laugh at you. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time, Warden. And now the time's here. Go on. Beg for mercy. I want to hear you. Go on. Talk up. I've got nothing to say. Go on. Talk. You hear me? Talk, you maverick. No. And by thunder up. Somebody's coming down the corridor. Cisco, you ain't gonna cheat me, you oh, You not miss his gun this time, Cisco. Oh, you coyote, I'll teach you. No, help your Cisco. I do not think I need any help, Senor Warden. Grass is just the same. I'll kill you with my bare hand. I'll kill all three of you. Ooh, he's a tough one, no? Your killing days are over, Mac. Keen, be getting right. Ah. Oh, that 
hold him for a while, Cisco. Oh, you guess right about that carpet. Sorry we had to shoot the lock off your door, Senor Warden. But we could take no chances. You don't apologize for that, Cisco. Great Scott, man, you saved my life. Walter, Ed, Morris, come in and take Mowbray away. I'll let these two out of the closet. Thanks, Warden. By Judas, I wish I could have seen that fight. It sounded like a humdinger. Too much Cisco, not enough bandido. <laughs> Any bandido is far too much bandido, Pancho. Never forget that. They all belong where that one is going to stay, behind bars. Cisco. Si, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. Pancho thinks the senora, she, she never stopped to thanking us. <laughs> <laughs> or feeding you, amigo. Oh, si, si. Uh, you know, Pancho likes to eat the senora's food. Oh, she is a wonderful cook. She, one of the best. She, uh, she feel better too when she find out they catch the other bandido up in Portland, no? Oh, naturally she yeah. would feel better, Pancho. Even so, she had a very, very bad fright. Well, maybe she better go somewhere to take a little rest, huh, Cisco? Well, that is just what she is thinking of doing, amigo. She has a sister in San Jose. She is thinking of paying her a visit. She just think about it? Well, the trouble is, Pancho, the senora always gets sick the night before a journey. Well, what'd she get sick for? Oh, some people do. Perhaps worrying about the journey itself or about leaving home. Reasons like that. Oh, but Cisco, if senora gets sick the night before a journey, Pancho know how she can keep from getting sick. Is that so? Si. Well, then tell me. How can she keep from getting sick? Easy, Cisco. Make the journey a day earlier. Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Up diablo. <laughs> And so ends another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. Because a good breakfast means a good morning, build a better breakfast every day. A good breakfast always includes plenty of... Tut, tut, nothing but butternut bread. Yes, eat a better breakfast. Eat plenty of crisp, crunchy slices of good butternut toast. Enjoy it with fresh butter, homemade strawberry preserves, or as French toast. You can do anything with butternut. Serve it any way you like, and you'll always like it. That's because butternut is always the same. Every loaf, every slice is always the same fine texture, the same creamy whiteness, the same delicious flavor. Anytime you open a blue and white check gingham butternut wrapper, you can rest assured that you're about to serve the finest bread that's baked. Then when you buy bread, buy bread by name. Insist on butternut bread, good butternut bread, in the blue and white check gingham picture wrapper. Try a loaf tomorrow. <laughs> Be sure to listen again for another thrilling adventure of The Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid was played by Jack Mather, Poncho by Mel Blank. 